good morning and um, we are at uh, Gary Snyder's studio this is Gary and we're going to read three poems by Gary two for the bear and one for deer he will read the English and I will read the Chinese translation thank you Gary good morning so first a poem called Arctos, which is Greek for bear. Quoting Pythagoras, she bears are the hands of Rhea, the earth goddess. Sighing, bursting, steam, sulfur, lava, rolling and bubbling up, falls out, back in on itself, curling and licking, getting hard. Lichens, oak groves, float up like cloud shadows, soft, soft, loving plant hands. Tendrils slip till they meet, a pull and pull it pulls taut. Green and quick sap calls swell the hills, changing cloud mountain, changing cloud gate, rainbow glimmering with swallows, leap, looping cranes, ice field and snow fields ring as she comes, gliding down the rainbow bridge, joy of the mountains, the great she bear. Xiong, Arctos, Pasaglas, Mu Xiong, Shi Nu Xiong, Liya de Zuo Yu Shou. Tan Xi, Chong Po, Huo Shan, Tu Zhe Liu Huang Zhen Xi, Fan Gun, Pan Fa, Xia Jiang, Luo Hui Yuan Di, Qu Juan, Tian Di, Jian Yi. 呆选向树林如云影上下沉浮柔软柔软草木手里的母爱曲卷悄悄的伸出碰撞拉紧绿色与草浆的呼喊胀满山坡变了云山变了云门彩虹闪烁燕子白鹤来回穿梭他来了从彩虹桥下滑下冰天雪地一片铃声大地的欢喜神伟大的母熊<笑> This poem is for bear. As for me, I am a child of the god of the mountains, says the bear. A bear down under the cliff. She is eating huckleberries. They are ripe now. Soon it will snow and she, or maybe he, will crawl into a hole and sleep. You can see huckleberries in bear shit if you look this time of year. If I sneak up on the bear, it will grunt and run. The others had all gone down from the blackberry brambles, but one girl spilled her basket and was picking up her berries in the dark. A tall man stood in the shadow, took her arm, led her to his home. He was a bear. In a home under the mountain, she gave birth to slick, dark children with sharp teeth and lived in the hollow mountain many years, snare a bear, 
pull him out. Honey eater, forest apple, lightfoot, old man in the fur coat, bear, come out. Die of your own choice, <laughs> grandfather, black food. This girl married a bear who rules in the mountains. Bear, bear, you have eaten many berries. You have caught many fish. You have frightened many people. Twelve species, north of Mexico, sucking their paws in the long winters, tearing the high-strung caches down, whining, crying, jacking off. Odysseus was a bear. Bear cubs gnawing the soft twit tits, teeth gritted, eyes screwed tight, but she let them. Till her brothers found the place, chased her husband up the gorge, cornered him in the rocks. The song of the snared bear. Give me my belt. I am near death. I came from the mountain caves at the headwaters. The small streams there are all dried up. I think I'll go hunt bears. <laughs> hunt bears? Why, shit, Snyder, you couldn't hit a bear in the ass with a handful of rice. <laughs> Shengen 你可以在熊缝里找到红豆男子是头熊嫁给山中的大王他咬紧牙关你要抓熊别拿我开玩笑好不好斯奈德我就是给你一把你你也砸不中熊的屁股<笑><笑> oh, 
hair. And I had very long hair for several years myself, down to my waist in back, at a time when a lot of my friends had long hair. Like mine. I still have long hair. And she still has long hair, but, you know, she has an excuse. <laughs> She's a girl. <laughs> oh, same difference. Yeah, I know. <laughs> long hair. Hunting season. Once every year, the deer catch human beings. They do various things which irresistibly draw men near them. Each one selects a certain man. The deer shoots the man, who is then compelled to skin it and carry its meat home and eat it. Then the deer is inside the man. He waits and hides in there, but the man doesn't know it. When enough deer have occupied enough men, they will strike all at once. The men who don't have deer in them will also be taken by surprise, and everything will change some. This is called take over from inside. Deer trails. Deer trails run on the side hills, cross country access roads, dirt ruts to bone white board houses, ranches, tumbled down, waist high through manzanita, through sticky, prickly, crackling, gold dry summer grass. Deer trails lead to water, lead sideways all ways, narrowing down to one best path and split and fade away into nowhere. Deer trails slide under freeways, slip into cities, swing back and forth in crops and orchards, run up the sides of schools. Deer spoor and crisscross dusty tracks are in the house and coming out the walls and deer bound through my hair. Beautiful. I love this poem so much. Changfa, Da Lia de Ji Jie. Yi Nian Yi Tsi, Lu Zhuo Ren. Taman Yung Ge Zhong Fang Fa, Ba Ren Ying Yu Dao Shen Bian. Mei To Lu, Do Xuan Hao Yi Ge Dui Xiang. Lu She Ren, Ren Bei Po Wei Lu Bo Pi. 把鹿肉扛到家里，人吃肉，于是鹿就进入人的身体，它在里面等待，而人却不知道。当足够的鹿占领足够的人，他们就一起出击，连没吃过鹿肉的人也被捕获，于是一切都改变了，这就叫从内
capture deer and deer. Capture like, you. Right, but in this poem, you reversed it, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it totally makes sense. Well, it's psychological. It's the spiritual and psychological realm of uh, interacting deeply mm -hmm. with the wild, yeah. uh, of which we are still part, yeah. uh, and uh, which is still all around us. We act it out without even knowing it. Uh, the, the complexity of these relationships, of course, we act it out when we have attitudes and practices with uh, wild bears or wild deer that come near our houses mm -hmm. uh, or, or creep into the house. Even like bears have come into my house looking for food. And I don't mind. I just don't want them to make too much of a mess. Right. Uh, but there's a world out there that uh, Native American people and other uh, uh, or pre-agricultural people learn to live with and to enjoy, really, mm -hmm. uh, and also have opinions about uh, for centuries and centuries and centuries. Mm -hmm. uh, and we still can uh, teach ourselves and learn from that, learn how not to uh, just be afraid of or uh, dismiss and dislike the wild world but realize that it is a, a, a world that we live in too, mm -hmm. and it, we have to share some of it. Yeah. Just as uh, you might as well admit to yourself, you're going to be eaten up by something. That's true. Yeah. By more likely by micro microbes, you know, bacteria. Well, they're real too. Yeah, and uh, fungus. <laughs> Then feed it, feed but my that's body. A, to that's the after tree. they've gone through your skin and your bones. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, but this is also kind of quite Hegelian, like the master slave, right? We humans think we're the master of nature. We conquer the world. But in reality, it is like a deer, the bear, the trees, the rivers. We are there, like, they have the true power, not us. Well, so we know that from big rivers and hurricanes right. and big winds. Right. Anyway. Right. Uh, and um, we might know it once in a while from animals, too. Yes. Uh, and uh, we still will in the future. We will. Yeah, yeah of course. Right. Uh, and in the meantime, there are, are some things that are wonderful to enjoy. Mm -hmm. The great flights of the... Uh, Migratory cranes yes. that come down from the north in the fall and go back to the north in the spring. They are much older than human beings. Well, of course. Yeah, they are very, very old. <laughs> They're know. very, very old. And yeah. human beings are pretty old, too. Yeah. You know, except we were just, we looked more different I know. earlier. Yeah, yeah. And we're still around. You know, our models are still around. Yeah. Uh, it would be fun to see what would happen. It will be. Uh, yes. If we're still around at all. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's just to live that life in your inner life uh, is, a worthy cho is a worthy choice. Right. At least it's an artist's choice. Right. When we were born, like, we almost like already given everything we need inside us. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. And we often like don't know about it and just looking, chasing after other things. Like, but it's all in us already, right? Well, it's it's close. Yeah. We still need our mothers and fathers for a while. Right, right. They, they help us choose what to eat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I'm looking forward to learn the archer, archery from you. Archery. Yeah, the bows and arrows. That's a very sophisticated development. I know, but I still want to try. Well, for, but first you have to try with a, a spear. Okay. Uh, and get a sense of what can be done with a spear. Yeah. Then there's also the boomerang. Okay. Which goes out and comes back. Right. Uh, and human beings have been using all those things for a long, for a long time. time. Yeah. yeah, 
It's uh, the but the bow the... is a wonderful invention, uh, uh, and it's not very old. Mm -hmm. it, they've only had bows for about seven or eight thousand years. Yeah. Do you know who invented that? We don't, well, no, we don't know who invented it. Mm -hmm. China, know he, China has a long history of bow. Well, yeah. so does Native America. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it would be interesting to know more about it, and of course... In Mongolia, I saw that your picture of Mongolia archer yeah, they have, well, they, they in were, your that library. Was, that, that was very sophisticated. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, at what point, we don't know at what point archery, the bow, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also the arrow, became better and better and more and more sophisticated and mm -hmm. also more precious. Yes. A good bow and a set of arrows in um, 18th century China mm -hmm. was very expensive. Is it? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Not anybody could afford it. I didn't know that. Well, yeah. you know, you have to look at what they were using when they, when they stood as guardians on the mm -hmm. porches of the imperial palace. Right. Yeah. The bodyguards. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. So, do you know it? Do you know about the Chinese release, or no. it's also called the Mongol release? No. What is that? There's two ways that you, when you pull the string back, okay. There's two ways of releasing it. Okay. The Chinese and Mongol way is one. Okay. The other one is called the Mediterranean oh, release. Okay. That's what I learned. Okay. Do you know the Chinese Mongolia way? It's very hard to do, but I've done it. You have tried it. Yeah, well, if you take uh, archery courses in Japan, mm -hmm. you use old style bows and you use the Mongolian release. Okay. That's what the teacher makes you do. That's the more difficult way? Yes. Okay. But so you know how to do it? I know how to do it, but it's not easy. Oh, okay. I would love to try it. Well, so you could take Japanese archery lessons. From you? No, I couldn't do it. But they have some schools. Yeah. In, okay. uh, in California and probably in other parts of the country. I'm sure it's everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.